This is Mike with the Strawberry Store. It's June 4th, 2016. I'm standing here in front of a little staged area uh, with some uh, styrofoam background to uh, uh, show you a, a plant that we're growing now in containers and starting to sell the uh, rooted runners. This is a, a woodland strawberry. Uh, we call it woodland because it's still for Gary Vesca. It's related to the alpines, but uh, by definition, an alpine is an ever-bearing uh, type of plant. Uh, this is not an ever-bearing, it's a June-bearing plant. Um, and it's uh, a different, uh, uh, it's the same species, but it's a different uh, uh, variety. Um, it's a uh, Fregaria vesca, uh, variety vesca. And uh, it's, a, as I said, June-bearing and uh, produces just loads and loads of runners. A customer recently told me that that they have a plant that they ended up planting under a tree and it was uh, it was like Jack and the Beanstalk with all the all the runners uh, growing from it. Uh, this is a very productive uh, cultivar. It was uh, developed in uh, uh, in Sweden and uh, Rod Luvan means uh, uh, riding hood or uh, some, some call it red cap uh, that's CAP and uh, yeah, you can see that it does have some fruit here it's also got some leaves that need to be cleaned up but it's got some fruit here immature fruit uh, pretty large fruit there's an ant crawling around I have it on a small turntable here so we can easily turn it and take a look at it uh, you can see some more of the fruit here uh, in all stages and even some flowers uh, our cool spring has kind of extended our season here uh, come back over here to this the back side of the plant and we have even more fruit um, in all stages and uh, I think I mentioned that it's in a one gallon root trapper pot root trapper 2 you can see the the emblem on the side there um, and you can also see all the uh, runners that are trailing behind here uh, we're going to be rooting some of these runners here pretty soon we are starting to sell runners online but you can see they're just loaded with runners. Uh, normally, if a person was interested in fruit production for a plant like this, uh, you would clip out the runners. It would then direct more of its energy toward uh, fruit production and less energy toward producing uh, vegetative runners. Um, the plant is was actually just a single rooted runner from uh, late last summer, so. Uh, you can see it's not probably not quite mature yet it overwintered outside and uh, we just gave it some fertilizer this spring and it just took off but uh, I think in another year in this container next year you should see a really much more robust plant and uh, and even more production uh, these uh, June bearing types uh, are highly productive uh, they probably will produce as much in a few weeks in three to four weeks as an alpine type will produce in possibly in a whole uh, season a uh, whole uh, spring and fall uh, I've, I've never really looked at the productivity but because the berries are so much larger um, and you know there are so many more of them uh, I think they're going to be it could turn out to be more productive than than even the alpines but you don't have that extended season so if you're looking for the fresh market uh, it's only going to give you you know the three to four week window whereas the alpine will produce uh, cyclically uh, over months and months and uh, uh, so it depends on what you're looking for so anyhow uh, this is Mike with the strawberry store signing off uh, standing here in front of uh, Woodland Strawberry Rod Luban